Yo, what's up? This your boy John O with this week's rant. And with no further delay, I'm going to jump right into it. Why is it that Daryl in The Walking Dead always gets caught on the side of the road by some fucking gang? Why is that? Every fucking week I turn the fucking show on, he's always the one that's on some fucking side of the road getting caught. Daryl, stay off the side of the road. And speaking of The Walking Dead, nigga Eugene bit a dick. <laughs> oh, God. Nigga, pause. He been a dick to stay alive. Question. If you knew you was going to die and the only way you could get out of it was to bite a dick, I'm talking to dudes because girls probably wouldn't be that much of a problem. Fellas, would you bite a nigga dick off to stay alive? Be honest. Candace Patton? Man, oh man. One day. One day. Yo, this is a throwback rant for you. Y'all ever listen to the beginning of The Godfather Part 3 by Mob Deep? When they was talking about, oh, they're going to do it out the window. Give me the gun. And they start busting. I love Mob Deep. But them niggas have terrible aim. One thing I can't stand is motherfucking spoilers. I hate when people get on Facebook and they say, hey, man, I just watched The Walking Dead and this is what happened. Not knowing if a, another motherfucker is on their timeline and haven't seen the show yet. And they spoiling it for everybody. Why the fuck would you do that? That is the worst fucking thing a person can do. Especially if you get on there complaining about don't say anything about this show or this movie. And then you get on there and do the same thing you don't want people to do to you. That's just whack. That's just whack. I hate people that spoil it for other people. If you want to call it a review or you call it a spoiler, whatever the fact of the matter is, shut the fuck up. Why the fuck does the new Ghostbuster movie have to have the black chick be some motherfucking transit authority fucking woman? The other three white women are fucking scientists and neurologists and fucking astronomicalists. And then the black chick got to be the motherfucking ghetto fucking token booth clerk, bitch. Fuck is that about? Do you ever feel like your friends that go to church... Are more blessed than you. So the boy Jared is in jail. Serving sandwiches. Nigga how ironic is that. Shout out to Quentin Miller. Who was on Vlad TV a couple weeks ago. Talking about how. Meek Mill's boys jumped him. And. He took the ass whooping. I commend him. For just being a real brother. And being like yo. Yeah this shit happened. Whatever. I'm not a street nigga. And I have to respect him so much more for, for saying, yo, that's not what it is. Y'all tough guy shit, y'all can have that. And I think it's whack for cats to jump cats these days. Y'all can't fight one-on-one? -on -one? That's just whack. Speaking of fighting, I know we've all seen the video now about Cat Williams having to punch a young boy in the face and then the little boy choking him out. Um, a lot of us seen only half of the video. Then... They leaked the rest of the video, the full video. And the little boy kept jumping up in Cat's face. Now, let me say this, man. Little boys, uh, women who feel that they can fight men and antagonize men and, and, and constantly be up in their face, you deserve to get your ass whipped. Because if you get in the man's face and you push a man or, or you swing on a man, then you must feel that you can fight a man. I seen a video recently of a little girl. Uh, I say a little girl. She's probably like 17. She was a big girl um, pushing another boy uh, in school. She kept pushing him and pushing him, and then she swung on him. And then the boy, after, he, after she swung on him, he <laughs> duffed her out. I have to say, I don't condone on men hitting women, but when you're an antagonizer, or when, when, when somebody is, is, is constantly trying to bait you into fighting and then they swing on you, it's only right for you to defend yourself, whether it's a man or a woman. Again, I don't like men putting their hands on women, but I feel that if a woman feels she's tough enough to swing on a man, then she should be tough enough to deal with the consequences. And that's just how I feel. I'm sorry if I turn some of you ladies off, but that's just how I feel. So apparently rock legend Gene Simmons says he hates rap and he can't wait to the death of it. Um, that rap should not be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with other music and that it's just gibberish nonsense. It has no melody. 
let me just first start by saying this. I respect Gene Simmons because he's a legend from a group called Kiss. Um, so I respect that. But let's be real. White people stole rock and roll from black people. Bottom line. So that's the last thing you should be talking about. It shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with us. Y'all stole that shit from black folks. So technically, you shouldn't be in the motherfucking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. As a rap artist, I take offense to what he said. Because I feel that our music is music just like every other genre of music. Whether it be jazz, rock, uh, pop, whatever. And if artists like Run DMC or Grandmaster Flash make it into the Hall of Fame, they deserve it. So to hear somebody who, at one time I respected, say something negative about uh, a, a genre of music that I love and that puts food on my table, I take offense to it, Gene Simmons. And again, I mean, you need to check yourself, my man. You need to check yourself. Because at the, at the end of the day, like I said, you guys stole rock music from black people. Yo, to me, sometimes, some chicks, they look better in their clothes than they do naked. After all these years... And being a big comic book fan, I'm just realizing that Martha Kent and Martha Wayne both had the same first name. I didn't put that shit together until I seen that whack-ass Batman vs. Superman movie. And speaking of that movie, I could not stand the Lex Luthor. Forget the fact that the script was horrible. That Lex Luthor, <laughs> that motherfucker was whack. Horrible character choice, bottom line. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry I spoiled it for you, but don't waste your time. Waste the shit come on HBO. And then they can talk about spoilers. Hilarious. Hey, with George Washington being a known owner of slaves and a slave trader, whatever the case may be, and even though he's the father of our country, do you think if he was alive today, he would be mad that his name was on schools that a lot of black kids go to? And finally, in some sad news, we lost a few people this week, man. First up, uh, Ken Howard. You know, Ken Howard was an actor who was on uh, The White Shadow, a big TV show back in the late 70s, maybe the 70s, early 80s, maybe went to. Um, popular show. He also played professional basketball, actually. Uh, he was, a, was an actor. Uh, he did some guest spots on 30 Rock. And he also, because I am an actor, he was the president of of the SAG after union. So rest in peace to my man Ken Howard. Um, Gary Shanlin, the comedian who uh, some of you might know or not know, but Gary Shanlin, funny, funny, funny dude, had a TV show, Gary Shanlin's show on HBO or Showtime, one of those two. Um, you know, good, 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 good guy, good guy, good funny guy. And finally, of course, Fife Dog um, from a tribe called Quest. Uh, you know, I got to send a condolences to his family and his friends and all of that. You know, me being a hip-hop head and growing up listening to Tribe, that's a definitely uh, a sad thing. It touched me in the heart, man. And um, I'm hearing that the family gave permission that they were trying to do a petition to get Linden Boulevard in Queens, where Fife is from, um, turned to Tribe Called Quest Boulevard, and they got enough signatures, his family gave the blessing, so hopefully that happens. I want to piggyback on this just a tad bit. All of a sudden, though, on Facebook, I see tons of people having these Fife Dog Rest in Peace sweatshirts, and I don't know where the proceeds are going, and I don't, I don't think that's cool that all of a sudden all of these shirts came out if money is not going to his family or his wife or whatever the case may be. If people are just doing these shirts to turn a profit for themselves, that fucking sucks because that's not cool. Um, if uh, uh, his family is not getting the peace off of this, then y'all shouldn't be taking advantage of this man's death just to make money. All those out there that's doing that, you suck ass right now. But if you aren't and you are giving money to the Taylor family, then big up to you. Um, yeah, so... Once again, rest in peace to Ken Howard, Gary Shanlin, and of course, my man Fife Diggy. Um, yeah, uh, I want to end it on that. <sighs> this has been this week's rant with your boy John. Oh, make sure you don't do something, say something, or let me see something to end your ass up on this list next week. Uh, before I go, I'd like to thank all the people on Facebook and on YouTube that hit me off with the rants, man. Keep them coming. I appreciate them. Um, I'll do my best to try to get yours on. 
every time I do this. Make sure you like, share, and comment on this video. If you have a question or a rant that you want me to rant about, just leave it right here. I'll get it, and I'll try to get it in there for you. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, don't be smart. Be genius, and always, always, always. Stay gecko. I'll see y'all next week. Oh, did I mention Candace Patton? I see you, Ma. I see you. Yeah. Candace Patton. Candace Nelson. That actually has a nice ring to it. Think about it, girl. If you see this video. Alright, I'm out. Hey, what's up, guys? If you enjoyed that video, then I need you to subscribe. And you can always stay updated on all my new videos by following me on Facebook.com forward slash John Ali. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Kate told me to do this. Hey guys, I'm Kate, and I'm the one that told him to do this. Aren't you glad?